Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. Uh, welcome to my first video. This is something I wanted to do for a while now and with everything that's been going on and the quarantine and working from home, I decided that what better time than now? And during everything that's been going on, something that I've really been missing is A, fashion, just getting up and being able to put together outfits every day and go to work and show off the outfits that I put together every day. Fashion is something that's really important to me and always kind of has been. Um, more recently, since working at, from home, I've decided that I'm going to still do that. I'm going to still get up and get dressed every day. I'm on Zoom calls, so why not? People can still see at least the top half of my body. Um, and it just, it makes me feel good, so I should do it for myself. Um, but another thing I've really been missing in kind of the same regards is thrifting. I've gotten really into thrift shopping recently. Uh, the more that I learn about fast fashion and just the fashion industry in general and the environment, thrifting and buying secondhand clothes is really great. Um, it's a great way to more live more sustainably um, and be better for the environment. Obviously, when you buy clothes someone has previously owned, you're not contributing to the negative effects of fast fashion. But I can't go thrifting right now. Um, Goodwills and Salvation Armies, they're all closed. And something I recently discovered that kind of helps scratch that itch, I guess, is ThreadUp and other online thrifting options, which help me live sustainably and help the environment and still, you know, get to buy new clothes and try new fashion trends and all those great things. So I'm really excited that I can still kind of do this and there's options online and there's good options. And there's a lot of cute clothes even at Goodwills and I hope once this is done I can show you that too. Um, but for starters I'm going to start with ThreadUp. So um, just a disclaimer this isn't uh, sponsored or anything and also I don't only buy things from secondhand stores. I do still sometimes shop at other places uh, to kind of fill in the gaps in my wardrobe or just because I'm not perfect, no one is. So sometimes that's what happens. Um, but I got a lot of really great things from ThreadUp that I want to share with you guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you kind of just how I shop on ThreadUp a little bit. And then I'm going to show you the clothes that I ended up picking out and show them stylized for you so that people can kind of get ideas. And maybe if you are staying at home, you might have more time to, you know, try new things with your fashion. So I hope that this is helpful for people. I'm really excited that I'm doing this. On ThreadUp, you can search for whatever you're in the market for, like a long sleeve silk top, for example, which is something that I purchased this time. ThreadUp gives you a lot of options, which can definitely be very overwhelming, but you can narrow down your search. So you can save your sizes and then they'll only show you the things that are available in your size which is helpful. Then you can narrow it down even more. So for example, if you're looking for a black long sleeve silk top, you can narrow it down that way. Again, it'll show you probably a lot of options. There's a lot of things on ThreadUp, but it will only show you things that fit that parameter. And then you can choose certain brands. So like Banana Republic, if there's something that you really like or a favorite shop you like to go to. So this is my order from ThreadUp. I saved quite a bit of money. You can see they show you what you saved based off the original prices of the item. They kind of estimate prices, which I don't know how accurate it always is, but it's kind of nice to see how much you saved. And then this is just everything I ordered, uh, which I'll show you guys now. Okay, so everything made it. Um, it came in three separate boxes, which is the one thing about ThreadUp that I don't love although I understand why it happens. It comes from all across the country. They have a bunch of different like distribution centers, I guess. So typically when you order something, it comes in a lot of boxes, which isn't the end of the world. Um, you can reuse the boxes. I have reused them before, but just a disclaimer, it's not super environmentally friendly because it is a lot of boxes that are coming to your door. But everything's here, so I'm gonna show you everything that I got. No. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the kind of accessories and the shoes that I bought first just because when I style the pieces I'm probably just going to mix those in uh, with the like other clothes that I bought. So we're going to start with um, the first pair of shoes which is these Kenneth Cole 
reaction, um, I guess you would call them like mules or moccasins, I guess. They're this like army green color. I don't know if you can see that. And they have these gold polka dots on them. And when I bought them, I actually thought the polka dots were white. I don't know why I thought that, but I just, when I picked, when I took them out of the box, I was like, oh, they're gold. Um, but I wear a lot of gold, so that's probably okay. I'm not too worried about it. It'll match everything that I own. The only jewelry I really wear that's not gold is my ring, my engagement ring and my wedding ring. So uh, these look like they're in really good condition. And I think that they said they had like minor wear and tear on them. The bottom is definitely like a little bit dirty, but for the most part, they seem pretty good. So that's the first pair of shoes. The second pair of shoes I got, I'm really excited about. I don't own any brown shoes. And I'm trying to expand my wardrobe to more neutral so I have something to wear with everything that I own. So these are these cute little kitten heels. Like they're not very tall, but they're these pointy brown like suede shoes. And they're from a brand called Arturo Chiang. I'm definitely not saying that correctly. Um, but I did some research on them and I think it's a really nice brand of shoes. So. I'm excited about that and um, I actually really like wearing heels. I wear heels pretty frequently. My husband is really tall so I can kind of get away with it. So definitely we'll be getting a lot of wear out of these. Then the next thing that I got, why don't we do the hat first? So I got this cute floppy hat and it's like really cold outside so I think I was just really wanting summer but we end up going to the beach quite a bit and um, my husband is shopping around for a boat, so I was kind of thinking, you know, I have pretty fair skin, and I really like wearing hats when I'm out in the sun just to help protect my face from the rays, so I thought this was so cute, and I don't own anything like this. This is actually from J. Crew. It says one size fits all, so hopefully this fits my head. I have a very, very tiny peanut head, if you can't tell, so most hats fit me. I usually have the problem that they're too big, so we'll make We'll see this, if this fits when I try it on. The next thing that I got, um, we'll start with this purse. So I have been seeing these like woven bag um, styles for a while now and I really wanted one. And I this one is so cute. Like it has these like bamboo handles um, and it has a zipper, which is really nice because you know, you don't want people reaching into your bag if you're out in public. So it's not very big, but that'll probably fit like my wallet and my phone and like lip gloss and stuff. So I'm really excited about this. It just has these handles. It doesn't have the crossbody, but I a lot of times just wear my bags like this. So that'll probably be okay. And again, this looks like it's in awesome condition. And some, a piece of advice though, is that these kind of bags are always at Goodwill. Like, I've seen so many of these at Goodwill and I wish I had bought them because they were cheaper than this one, but looking back, like hindsight is 2020, I guess. So, um, but I am really happy that this one is in such good condition. And then the last bag that I got is another woven bag. I clearly was on like a very summery, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but this one is beautiful. I took this out of the box and was so excited. The only thing is that this is a little bit messed up, but like on thread up they tell you like what kind of condition it's in. So they did say that it wasn't in like perfect condition. So like that's to be expected. And I think I just overlooked that when I saw it in the pictures, but it's this cute little clutch bag and it comes with this gold chain, which is definitely long enough to like wear on my shoulder if I want to, or I could like just carry it. Um, or you could carry it even like this, like if you're like going out somewhere. But then it opens with this little clasp and the inside. And it's not huge, but the inside looks really clean. And it has a little pocket in it. So this will probably fit. I'll probably just need to get like a smaller wallet for it if I ever take it out. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be such a staple in my wardrobe, I think, during the summertime. So the first thing I got is this long sleeve silk top. It's from a brand called Deborah Parker, and it's in a size medium. Um, I, I know what you guys are thinking. This is maybe a little old lady? I don't know. I, for some reason, just really fell in love with this pattern. I think it's really pretty, um, and it was super cheap. So I figured worst thing that happens is I try it. Um, it's... I think 
it's cute. It's got these cute little black buttons. Um, it looks like it's a mix of brown and black. So I'm very excited about this one. Okay, this is the first outfit. Um, I paired the Deborah Parker top with a pair of shorts that I actually got from Thread Up just a little while ago. Um, they're like this really thin suede material with pockets. I like these a lot. I'm very excited to wear them. I think that this is a good transitional outfit, like as we transition from spring to summer. It's like a little bit warmer and a little bit more covered, but it's not too warm. And then I put that cute little satchel purse with it. And I just paired it with a pair of white sneakers. These are from Banana Republic. Um, yeah, I just really like this outfit. This top is really cute. And I think this would look cute even with like jeans or uh, tucked into like a black skirt. I think I could wear this to work with a nice pair of pants too. So overall, I'm very happy with this top. The one thing I will say though is that it's a little bit itchy. Like just a little bit itchy. Um, it's nothing too extreme, but just a, a quick disclaimer. But overall, I'm very happy with this. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this Banana Republic uh, silk button down. Uh, this is in a size small, and I really liked this pattern as well, and this kind of goes with the new, like, neon, I guess it's not new, but the neon trend going on. I don't own anything neon, that's not something that I wear, and I also don't wear a lot of yellow, so yellow neon is kind of an interesting choice for me, but I just thought this was so pretty, and this fabric seems really nice. Um, and I do like Banana Republic a lot. I wear a lot of their clothes. These jeans are actually from Banana Republic, so pretty excited about this one. Okay, this is the next outfit, and I'm actually obsessed. Uh, this is the Banana Republic top that we just got, and then these are my, like, paper bag black leather pants that I got, um, from Thread Up again, and then I paired it with some black pointy toe heels. I don't know if you can see those. And then this like cute little black um, envelope clutch that I stole from my mom. And it's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. And then I'm actually going to get a little bit closer because I paired it with these cute yellow um, earrings that I got. So overall, I think this is such a cute like date night outfit or like really anything. I mean, I could definitely wear this to work and be totally okay with it. So this is that Banana Republic top. Next we have this um, kind of turtleneck gray sweater. Uh, this is from Selfridge. It says it's a US size two. And I liked that this had kind of this like built in button down on the bottom. Cause I try and do that sometimes with my clothes and it always looks so bulky on me. I don't know what it is or why it does that to me, but I like that this is kind of built in, so it's just like a style. Um, and I love like tank top turtlenecks, which seems kind of like an oxymoron to me, but I just find like in the spring and in the fall when it's like kind of those in-between temperatures, they work really well for me. Um, they keep me kind of warm, but like not too warm. So we'll try this one on. This is the next outfit. So this is that um, sweater tank with the built-in kind of button down uh, into it. And then I paired it with this cute little clutch, which I'm so excited about. I already am obsessed with it. And I just paired it with a pair of wide leg, I can't back up far enough, but wide leg black jeans and then those same black pointy heels. And this would also be super cute for work or just in general. But I could definitely get away with wearing this to work because these jeans don't really look like jeans. Um, and they're also from Thread Up. This top is also really cute. I will say this material is also a little bit scratchy, which you can't always tell when you buy things online. That's one of the differences between like Thread Up or Poshmark and then like going to Goodwill or like buying something in the stores. You never know what it's gonna feel like. Although it's not super bad. And I think if I wore a tank top underneath of it, it wouldn't bother me at all. So. Overall, I really like this. I think this is super cute and definitely work appropriate, but still cute enough to wear it somewhere other than work. So I definitely am going to get a lot of wear out of this and then definitely this little cute bag. This is 
my favorite. So the next thing is another tank top turtleneck. I realized that I bought three of these. Uh, like I said, I really like them. So as you can tell, this one is a really pretty cream color though. This one is from Newport News and it's in a size medium. So this one seems a little bit thinner. It's rib texture. I really like this off-white color. I think that'll be really nice for the springtime. And it kind of goes with everything, which is exciting. So we'll try this one on. Okay, so this is that next top, the kind of cream turtleneck sweater. Um, this is really soft and like fits perfectly. So I paired it with these jeans that I got um, again from Fed Up. I think that this is why I didn't buy any pants this time, is because the last time I went on a pant rampage. I literally bought so many pairs of jeans and pants and shorts and everything you can imagine because I was just lacking the things that I really wanted. So I got these pair of black. They're like distressed like kind of at the bottom and I paired it with these snakeskin pointy toe heels from DSW that are very comfortable. And my little hat, this little felt hat, which I love a lot. And this is just a really nice like cute casual spring outfit I feel like. Um, I like this a lot. I'll definitely wear this top. I think it could go with pretty much anything that I own because it's just a cream turtleneck top, which isn't super exciting. But again, it's super soft and fits perfectly. So next, and again, I realize I bought three things like this, but they're all different. So I think that that's okay. And I know that I really like this style. I know that it looks flattering on me. So the next is this gray, um, sweater tank again. This is from The Limited in a size medium and it's got this cool button detail. Can you see that? Hold on. On the side. Uh, so you can button or unbutton all the way up or down. And this one is a little bit longer. It's like kind of a high-low style. You can see the front is a little bit higher and the back is a little bit lower, which for things like work where I'm not trying to wear things that are super tight or revealing. That's sometimes nice just to cover maybe tighter pants that I might be wearing. So we'll try this one on. Okay, so this is the next outfit. This is that last sweater tank. I promise it's the last one. I know that I bought a lot of them, but um, this is just a great little outfit, I think, for like running errands. These shoes I have on the Kenneth Cole um, mules that I got, they're super comfortable and they fit perfectly. I think they just kind of are a nice little addition to any outfit. They're kind of a more of a statement piece, I would say, so I don't feel like I need a super crazy outfit to go with them. I just paired this tank with one of my go-to Gap legging jeans. They're super comfortable, pretty high-waisted, um, just in, you know, medium wash. And then just with a cute little bag, I think if I was like going shopping or, you know, to the supermarket or something, I typically tend to have a giant bag on me just because I always carry way too much stuff. So this is just a really cute one. It kind of goes with the shoes, but it doesn't match it perfectly. So I really like this. Again, this is super comfortable. It's not too scratchy or anything. Um, and I like the little like button detail. I don't know if you can see that from that far away, but it just adds a nice little extra touch, I think, something to just jazz up the, your typical kind of gray sweater tank. So this is just something I would wear probably any day. So the last shirt that I got, and again, I realize I bought only shirts and like accessories this time. So um, I have a lot of pants that I do really like and that I wear pretty often anyway. So I think that's kind of why I just stuck with tops. I was definitely in the mood for some new cute tops. So this one is from Banana Republic again, but this says it's from the Heritage Collection, which I've never heard of. And this says it's a size four. It's kind of wrinkly from the box, but it's this nice like olive green color. And again, this fabric, it's almost like a really, really thin suede. It's, I think it said it was silk online, but it's got this like nice detail on the bottom and then it kind of follows around to the back. So this is super cute and I'm really excited about this. I hope that it, it fits. Okay, so this is the last look. Um, I'm not gonna put on the hat because it's all sort of bent up. So it's taking, it needs to kind of lay flat and like straighten itself out a little bit, but it 
is cute. It just needs a little bit of love and care. So this is the last outfit. It's this olive green banana republic top, which honestly fits like a glove. There's a zipper down the side and it's like perfect. And again, I shop there a lot, so I do know my sizing there, but this like is actually so cute and so flattering. I feel like I could like wear this to a date night. And I paired it with the Arturo Chang shoes, which I know I'm not saying that correctly. Someone's gonna correct me, but, um, and then just my like ripped skinny jeans. These are also from Banana Republic. Um, I just really like their clothes. And these are the perfect level of distressed skinny jeans and they're super stretchy and comfy and high-waisted. So I love them a lot. Just some gold jewelry and then I wore this little clutch again. <laughs> I think it's super cute. I'm definitely gonna use it all spring and summer and probably into the fall. It's really comfortable. This material is super soft and it does need to probably be ironed or steamed. I don't know if you guys can see how wrinkly it is, but yeah, I think another win. So I think everything we bought worked out, which is incredible. So that's everything for this thread up haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. If there's any other videos that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel. There will definitely be more videos coming on a variety of topics. I kind of foresee myself doing some thrifting videos, some lifestyle, some beauty videos. So whatever anyone is interested in, make sure you let me know. And thanks again for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day. Can't you see him doing something? I know, you always have to get in the way. You're a camera hog. Yeah. This is my Bubba Ruth, for anyone. She'll probably make an appearance in a lot of videos because she loves being on camera. Because she's a little camera hog and she loves being the center of attention. Um, she's named after Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she's so small. <laughs>